Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a split system refrigerator and we're going to be replacing this fan motor. Thank you to everyone joining the Jumperman Tech. During our last visit we installed on these two identical refrigerators, they're made by Perlick. We installed digital controls. Oh, look at that at 40 degrees. That's a beautiful thing. Also, we added BX, it was just like a piece of extension cord here. It was a real mess. Anyways, we did the same for this one. You see it's on the side. And when we started it up, we noticed that the fan motor was humming and it was bad. So we ordered the original evaporator fan motor from Perlick themselves. If anyone is interested, the model number is BBR24-0. Maybe it's a zero. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We gotta rip apart this whole section. The power is currently off. We just unplugged an extension cord. This does work off a solenoid valve. There's one really large like rack unit air cooled outside and it controls probably like at least 15 refrigerators and this is one of them let's take off this bottom panel all right we've got a drain line here we've got our solenoid valve expansion valve and we're gonna have to try to get in here somehow so let's see let's keep this everything inside the bottom could use a little cleaning afterwards too to be honest with you we will need to take out this drain actually so this here is the condensate pan let's take that out if we even can to be honest with you that we just might be able to just drop down slightly because all this is in our way, the electrical. Let's see, there's a little switch here actually. This panel probably gotta come down so we can bring this panel down. Let's see a 516 there, some 516s on the sides, and that should be able to drop. This might be in our way. This is a tricky little spot to change this little fan motor in. You know what? I'm gonna take off this cover. Can I pull it out through here? It's supposed to be an easy thing and there's nothing but I... no nah, it's better we drop this whole thing let me see what's going on even in here i know it's like a little electrical cover what the oh man that doesn't look good let's keep all our parts together all our screws together Try to do this as neat as possible. You know what? Let's swap this out. Let's take this out. This doesn't look too good. Okay. Take that out. And this one. see what we can do can this come apart without that little thing over there this is in our way everything's in our way that extension cord though what the heck is that all right this thing is gonna gotta come down this electrical stuff let's push that in what a mess push that in all right that goes like this let's remember two screws I took out looks like it holds it will hold the motor bracket for this and the cover so this is it this thing is really really dirty I'm gonna try to reuse this fan blade let's see where these wires are man this is a 120 volt motor we should just have two wires connected let's see Anytime you do refrigeration, you're gonna want to wear some plastic gloves. This stuff is a mess. Yeah, I see the two wires right here. Oh, it's like jammed in here too. What the heck? Why is that in there? 
Anyways, it's going to be these two here. This is nothing that just kind of just goes through. Well, they tie this thing around. <laughs> oh boy. All right, hold up, this is the exact one. So let's put it in the right position. And let me take that off right now. So we got two screws holding it. We would put it in these two, which is threaded. Let me take that off and do this a little, a little neat. Let's get this motor out, get it out the way, and just mount the new one. And we figure out what's up with these wires. What a, what a little mess. Make sure we have everything the exact same way. All right, hold up. Can't even get this thing out of here. Anyway, go like this. Here's that motor. And let's put this bracket back together in the same way. Put one screw here. All right, that is hand tight. And then one screw here, and we could figure this whole thing out. Where are they going? Somewhere in this map. There's a lot of wires in here, for like no reason. Anyways, done. Done. That's nice. And where are these two wires going? All oh, the way up here. Okay, a little plug-in type right here. Take that out. Jeez, why do they do all this? They just went crazy with this thing. All right, that's one, and that blue connection. And then who's the next wire? It's just a mess. It is just a mess. I gotta take this tape off. This is for a Heater, it says. Let's see, where's that other wire go? Jesus. That was gonna be some tie wraps or another, some more tape for this. But this is a mess. It's definitely not needed. So, this is one wire. The white, so that's gotta be our neutral. And who's the next wire? Right here, these two right here. These two right here. And it says label as fan motor, so that's nice. I'm gonna put some tie wraps there. And we're just gonna put one on each terminal. For this, it is not to uh, 120. Honestly, kind of put it either way, you'll be all right. So that's that. Next, have uh, the blade. It's got. I've made a little mark over here just so I can see how far this needs to go. You do want to sand down the shaft a little bit, but I think with this little tiny thing, we'll be fine. So I'm just gonna loosen that up. All right, that broke free. Loosen that up. Have it in the same position. Right there, pulled right out. Keep it just like this and give it a quick wipe down because this thing is gross. If you can look on the shaft over here, we have a little marking and that's where the blade goes. So this blade doesn't have any flat points, it's all round. So we're just gonna eyeball that a little bit and tighten down the shaft. Close to use a measuring tape, whatever. It'd be all right. Okay, so tie wraps are always better than tape. Tape will go and loosen up over time. And look at this. I see no tie wrap. This is like, I like a shot for a piece of when you get bread. <laughs> Let's tie this up for these guys. I also wiped off the dust. 
Come on, come on, we can't have stuff like this. Let's do this right. Mm, like that. And if you don't cut off the ends on these things, you gotta go to hell for that. <laughs> so annoying when I when I don't see that. So right now, this already looks a lot better. It's a lot safer. And all these have plugs on the insulated subtlest connectors. So let's set that up and see what we can do. Also just wiping all these things down. I don't wipe down the ceiling when I can. Some of this stuff needs a little bit of love. Okay. Also, this cover, these screws are for the bracket. That definitely needs to be cleaned as well. Uh, let's clean this thing up. Wipe this down. These are pretty easy to clean. Could even take like a little wire brush that are like with the plastic brushes. Just cleans it up pretty good. All right. Swipe this down. And set this all up. Okay, this part could be a little tricky. This all goes back here. And those wires are like sticking out for some reason. Oh, there's my alarm. I gotta pay the parking meter out uh, here. I got a few minutes, so let's see. These these wires go through here. I'm not a fan of that, but whatever. Let's do that. So if anything, it can be checked. All right, hold up. Let's maybe get two wires, two wire nuts through, and then the last one. Now that's coming out. This was also coming out. I don't know what that's about, but let's put everything back the way that we found it. That's that. And this motor goes in that way. And let's close that up with the cover. A little tricky to do. Come on. Caught up. Let's set this up. Right there. Let's line up that hole. You know what? We got a couple holes here. It'll be better if we have just the motor on itself and this one by itself as well let's close this up right there lay this looks good let's make sure when this covers oh you see when this is on it's hitting a little bit i need to go back a little more okay loosened it up let's see where is this gonna hold right here got screw holes already nope gotta go back a little more now can it even go back a little more right there what is up with this Maybe they're using different holes, because that doesn't line up nicely. Mm, maybe. Let's adjust this thing. Okay, this is adjusted nicely. And now, this can go as well with the cover. I'm gonna have to use some new holes here. Actually, let's see, maybe we could use these two screws, because it's the same as the motor bracket. And from there, we'll have our cover back on, and I could just zip some screws for the other one. Cool. Now, right there, that looks good. Now, if you ever want to clean the cover, you could just pull it out and you're not gonna disconnect the motor because then you're gonna have to drop this whole thing again. Let's show to get it in place. This honestly might become a problem with one more tie wrap here. And I just realized this thing is basically just like sitting in the condensate pan. That's not cool. 
Just let this be. Hold up. But definitely don't like this and all those wire knots there. I think it's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, let's just get this thing in here. Oh, look at this extension cord just goes right in the water. Dear Lord. What the? Who installed this? Oh, yeah, Miracle. That's who. <laughs> yeah, let's try to get this thing in here. Oh, man, I might need to go in this way first. Trap that a little. This is a bad setup, man. I probably gotta take this off to move this back because now I because now I got the motor on. Hmm. Unreal. Make it as difficult for no reason. It's usually one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I got the light inside there. Alright. Let's figure out this. on the inside and that's pretty much how it goes we just gotta lift this up nicely and match up the screws on the side okay there's one there let's get one on this side this extension oh this thing is such a mess <laughs> where are these screws but pretty much gonna put some screws in and this thing should be good to go all righty all right guys this thing is all back hopefully this thing starts <laughs> Needs a little bit of a cleaning. Probably gonna wipe all this stuff down. Look really listen. Doesn't oh, look good. All right, looks a lot better. Whenever you're working on your knees, definitely gonna want a nice foam pad, kneeling pad. Oops. That's all right. All right, tight space. Just so you see, this is our digital thermostat, the Pen A421, and I added an electrical box. And everything nice connections. All right, let's do it. There you have it. We got air. Also, the shelf looks a little crooked. This might be one, one side up, one notch up on that side. But the light is on, fan sounds fine. I feel a good amount of air in here. All right, guys, everything's looking good. You can see the box is actually 36 degrees. I have it set to 36 to turn off, close the solenoid, and come back on at 40. So we range between 36 and 40 with a one minute delay just because. And honestly, everything looks great. So we're good here. I also installed the handle here, original handle, as that one was missing. Everything is nice and good. And what's going on with this one? currently at 41 degrees they've been using this one a lot because it's the morning and they're serving coffee for free this is a hotel and yeah got the new evaporator fan motor everything is good this handle i don't know what's up with that that's no good but anyways mine as you can see nice and sturdy <laughs> all right so that's that it is what it is Reading good temperatures, units are working, fans are working, we can actually open them properly. And we're going to wrap this one up here, guys. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe to come out with new videos every week. And catch you all next time.